Hey y'all, it's Laura, and I'm so excited to join the Stretch the Sketch blog hop. And we are going to use this lovely Schmel Lane sketch and these sweet photos from Halloween. Yes, I know it's May, but I tried to scrap an order, <laughs> and I'm almost done with this album. So I'm going to use these Bella Boulevard Spooktacular papers that were from my warehouse box. I'll link that below if you haven't seen it so you can see all of what's in there. And the background is just a nice text with some Happy Halloween type of phrases. And I'm going to use the orange paper as that big, large element in the center of the page. Now. A lot of the people in this uh, little video hop are going to take the sketch and shrink it down to a traveler's notebook or stretch it out to two 12 by 12 page layouts. I'm choosing to take a slightly different route. Of course I am. <laughs> I'm going to do a 12 by 12 and a six by 12 two page layout. Uh, one of the reasons I'm doing this is just to be different, but another reason is also because I knew I was going to cut down a lot of that dark background of the larger group photo. So I figured doing a 6x12, A, adds variety to my album, B, it fits the scale of the photo a little bit better, I think. And on this left side, I really want that picture to be the feature picture, which... <laughs> As it happens, it's a picture of me, <laughs> and it isn't typical for my to want myself as the feature picture, but my adorable babies are in that picture, and they are celebrating their first Halloween in that picture. So I'm going to use some of this uh, acetate with the lime green chevron. I did not know how I was going to use this when I opened it up from the warehouse box, but it's perfect for this sketch. It called for arrows coming in from three different angles, and I thought these green chevrons were perfect. The girls' outfits, you can't see them quite in the video, but you'll see in the close-ups, have just a hint of lime green on them, and uh, my son and my husband's costumes have green on them as well. So I thought that would be a nice unifying color between the two and would help me blend those two very different photos together. Now I have sped this up quite a bit because I am a very pokey scrapbooker. <laughs> it normally takes me about an hour to two to get a layout down and this is a double spread so it's definitely took me about an hour and a half I think. So very simple sketch. I like working from simpler sketches if I'm going to work from a sketch, which I don't do terribly often, but I think this little video hop is going to be a regular thing and will challenge me to really uh, get a feel for using sketches because let me tell you, even though this took me forever, <laughs> and mostly because I wasn't really familiar with the collection yet, so I was really kind of flipping through all of the pieces and kind of getting to know what was in it, um, but also because Halloween can be a tricky event to scrapbook. I mean, you're kind of stuck with either costume colors, which tend to be primary colors, or orange and green and black. So, eh, not my favorite colors. However, I really like how this comes out, and I think it may help to change my views on scrapping Halloween pictures, because I could be stalling on doing several. I did grab some of the washi here and thought I'd create a little boundary for my photo to rest on. That is something that I do like to do. I feel like it, it gives my photo a place to live, kind of a purpose in being there and not just floating in space. Uh, I do like my little boundaries. And I just grabbed the last little bit of that six inch washi I just put up in the corner, kind of like a small flag or something, uh, just to sort of bring that pattern somewhere else on the page. I don't always do things in threes, sometimes I do them in twos, but I do like to spread like things around the page. I did pop that photo up onto foam tape off a camera, and uh, just to give it a little bit of lift and so I could tuck those tags underneath of it. I also really like to do that on some of my layouts where there's a feature photo. I do like to pop that one up onto some foam, just to add a little bit of dimension to the page. Now this chevron is kind of cool when you cut it down into arrows. <laughs> I've not used acetate like that, but I uh, really like the way that that turned out. I am wondering though if I could have handled three sets of arrows on the same page in lime green. <laughs> that might have been too much for me. 
<laughs> anyway, over here I'm creating my title. And with the sketch, it did call for a title and a subtitle, though I did move them slightly uh, so that they were together as opposed to apart. And my title is simply Witches in Training because my gorgeous baby girls are coordinated to my witch's costume that I've had for years. And I really just wanted them to be comfortable on Halloween. I didn't want them to wear a scratchy, itchy costume that they were going to hate. So I had just picked up some cute little Halloween themed clothes and they just happened to perfectly coordinate with my costume. Don't you love how that works out? <laughs> <laughs> Grab some bits and pieces from this 12 by 12 sticker sheet to spread around the page and uh, bring some of those colors around, especially that lime green. Lime green is a color that I don't mind using sparingly <laughs> as an accent color, but I'm really not a fan overall, so I, I won't add a lot of it to any page, I don't think. And uh, yeah, I grabbed these little tags, thought they were super cute and would add a nice little uh, feature element here, only end up using this larger one. Uh, just because of space. I felt like I, if that smaller tag was crowding my title quite a lot and I didn't really like that. So I'm adding this really cute little spooky arrow on top of the green chevrons just to add again a little dimension to it. Add that black around the page. Popped it up onto some foam tape and added some twine to my tag. I really what is it about adding twine that just makes the tag fit in? It just makes it look finished, you know? And I really like how that looks. So I'm just going to add little bits and pieces around the page to kind of finish it off. Uh, some of these are ephemera pieces. Some of them are from the sticker sheet. And then I'm going to reach into my stash. <laughs> Always a good thing. To pull out some bits and pieces uh, that have been sitting there waiting to be used and are orange. <laughs> Things like uh, enamel shapes, enamel dots, things like that, uh, just to sprinkle around the page and use them up. Uh, and I have a hard time using cartoonish uh, little ephemera pieces, and I managed to get this little bat onto the page. <laughs> but cartoonish things are just not one of my favorite things. I will get those used. You know what? I find them easier to use on cards. So when I finish up this little kit, I will probably use those ephemera pieces on cards because for some reason, it's just easier for me to do that. So I have had these orange and some of them are lime green enamel shapes on my desk forever. Decided to sprinkle them around the page and finish that one off. So now we're going to move on to the 6x12 that I had pulled out this little flag that said Happy Halloween thinking, hmm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to use. Planning is not really something that I do much of, <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> I, I'm not a planner girl. I just like to go with the flow. I like to get in, touch the papers, and, and really get a feel for the collection that way. And that generally inspires me. It's just like this sketch was super simple. It didn't have a lot of embellishment clusters already added in. And I love that because then I could decide on my own where those should land. And that really made this sketch super usable for me. Now I am going to use my 12 by 12 to line up my uh, photo mat here just because I knew that it would bother me, even in my album being a D-ring, and they're totally separate from each other, it was going to bug me if they were way off. So to make sure that lined up, I put down a line of double-sided tape right where I wanted my bottom border to be, so that when I pulled it off and went to put down my photo mat, it was going to be in the perfect right spot and I wouldn't have to remeasure. So there it goes, down it is. <laughs> this photo I absolutely adore. It is a picture of my husband and my kids all dressed up in one theme. They are Super Nintendo characters. And this started with my oldest son, Alex, wanting to be Mario. And then my daughter wanting to be a princess, but not really having any particular princess in mind. So my husband comes up with this brilliant idea to be Nintendo characters. And he tells her she can be Princess Peach. She sees the costume. It's pink. She loves it. The crown is icing on the cake. She absolutely adores this costume. So that fit in great. My husband decided to be Luigi, being the taller of the Super Mario Brothers. And then my son Joseph said, I want to be a dinosaur. And my husband's like, boy, do I have the costume for you. 
So he pulls out a picture of Yoshi, and my four-year-old was all for it. So they managed to get a little theme costume in there. We have done several of those over the year. We don't require them every year or anything like that, but if the kids want to do them, we are very excited to, uh, to join in with that. Uh, so now we've got those chevrons in place, and I have repeated the washi as well, the same washi that I used on the other page. I do want these to feel related to each other, and I used some glue dots off camera to attach those uh, acetate pieces so that they would not uh, show the adhesive through, because otherwise they will show the adhesive through them. And I did really try to use some of these cartoonish uh, characters on this page because it's a little bit more playful and oh, I just can't do it, y'all. <laughs> I did not want to over embellish this 6x12. Uh, adding a ton onto this was going to just take away from the photo and really that was the whole point of the page for me. So I struggled for a title on this one. I had to really think about it. And what I end up going with is something that they say in the Super Mario video game. It's Mario! <laughs> and just so that I could tie in some of that gold glitter thickers that were on the previous page, I end up putting look with an exclamation point at the top and look, it's Mario! And I think that is all I remember about Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> This was not a game that I played uh, quite a bit as a kid. Uh, this was one my brother played quite a lot, but I would watch him play. And uh, that's pretty much all I remember is the characters and the It's Mario! <laughs> so adding those little features around the page just to brighten them up. And then I will come in with some enamel shapes again to spread around the page, kind of just sprinkling around the page. No splattering this time, guys. I know what's happening. I didn't do any splattering, but I did an awful lot of scattering, and because I'm doing pattern paper on top of pattern paper on top of pattern paper, I didn't really think that it needed it. Plus, let's be honest, orange, lime green, there is a lot going on color-wise on this page, and I think adding in gold or black splatters uh, it just would feel like too much. Plus, I wasn't actually sure how well those splatters would do if they showed up on the acetate. Wasn't sure I wanted to attempt that, so I just added some glue dots to these stars and uh, added them down here at the bottom right corner. And this layout is just about done. I think the only thing that I have left to do, yes, is bring in my enamel shapes. And really, the goal here was to use up as many of those orange and lime green ones as possible. <laughs> Get those suckers used up! I think I did end up grabbing a couple of pieces off of the sticker sheet here. Yeah, just a little bit there that says haunting family fun, I'm fairly certain, but it was lime green! <laughs> <laughs> Get those used up. Some of those uh, phrases probably can be used on non-Halloween layouts too, and so I'm hopeful that I will get to use the heck out of those. And this layout is done, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Join me in this blog hop by looking down in the description to see which video to move on to next. Until next time, bye!